Well, meanwhile, in Ohio, the National Guard are once again being sent in to help in the battle against COVID-19. Today, over 1,000 troops dispatched to hospitals all across the state as rising hospitalizations are putting a strain on staff. Dan Perlman from our Columbus station is outside the Ohio State University Medical Center where they had to call in assistance. Well, it's been three days since Ohio Governor Mike DeWine announced he would mobilize more than 1,000 members of the Ohio National Guard to support the state's hospitals. The state's health department telling me today they are working with the National Guard to train those members as quickly and safely as possible. The Ohio Department of Health anticipates all 150 of the clinical members mobilized and up to 600 of the non-clinical staff will be deployed by later this week with the remaining 300 members going to their assigned locations next week. Here in central Ohio, the three adult hospital systems all tell us they have requested non-clinical supports from the National Guard. A spokesperson for the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center, for example, told me they requested 22 members to assist with food service and 33 to assist with environmental services, such as cleaning rooms. Nationwide Children's Hospital says they are assessing the need for National Guard assistance on a daily basis, but they have not requested that help. According to a statement from the Ohio Department of Health, I quote, a list of specific hospital facilities utilizing the Ohio National Guard is not yet available and more information is forthcoming. In the meantime, some National Guard members are already on the ground and will help launch a testing site tomorrow in Northeast Ohio, where officials are seeing a a surge in COVID-19 infections. Nicole. All right, Dan, thank you for that. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.